The troop meeting planning sheet can provide a useful framework for successful meetings, and the unit's planning team can adapt it in accordance with their needs. All segments of this meeting plan can be presented in creative ways, each adding to the overall experience of a well-run scout meeting. The troop meetings for the month are planned by the Patrol Leaders Council. Before the troop meeting's opening, the Scoutmaster spends a few minutes with the Senior Patrol Leader to check that everything's ready to go. Okay, Colby, so what's happening for the gathering period? Playing Prisoner's Escape for the new Scouts and anyone who doesn't know how to play it yet. Good. You know what you'll be announcing after the opening? Yes, sir. Great. I assume everything um, is set for the skills instruction? Yes, for sure. Great, great. How about the materials for the activity? Do you have everything you need? Brian and Joe are setting it up right now. Okay, good. And what are you doing again? Uh, we're playing Can It. So. Fun. Okay, so I guess you're good to go. Successful meetings don't just happen by themselves. Everyone plays an important part. Gathering period activities are planned and prepared to give Scouts something to do that is fun and engaging prior to the meeting's opening ceremony. Designed so that other Scouts can readily join in as they arrive, these kinds of involving activities are set out in such a way that a smooth transition can take place from the activity to the official start of the troop meeting. The opening ceremony signals the troop meeting has officially begun. Many troops will start things off with the presentation of the U.S. flag and the Pledge of Allegiance, often followed by the Scout Oath and or Law. If it's decided by the Patrol Leaders Council, in order to spark interest and add variety, each troop meeting can start with a unique opening ceremony presented by individual patrols. Kenny. Will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes. If you are in scout uniform, please salute. If you are in civilian clothes, please put your hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. After the opening ceremony, as the meeting gets underway, scouts look to the senior patrol leader for troop news and information. All right, well, Miss Lodge was pretty good. We had a flag ceremony with the uh, fire departments. Summer camp will be July 10th through the 16th. And you're also going to need your uh, physical forms A, B, and C. Scouts, make sure you're signed up for all upcoming outings. Memorial Day flag is this Saturday at Fort Rosecrans. As the man with the plan, the senior patrol leader makes these announcements to keep everyone informed. When a presentation is relevant to a large portion of the troop, the meeting can include a period of group instruction. You are looking at the weather, the river, what are some of the things that you may wear to help you on the river? Like regular skills instruction sessions, group instruction can focus on material needed for an upcoming outing or main event or a merit badge. And like skills instruction, group instruction can be presented by adult or junior leaders or a visiting expert. But a guy came along and invented something that really made it go very, very fast. And the seeds could come out Instead of hours and days, you could almost do it in, in like 30 minutes. What was that machine called that this person invented? The what? Cotton gin. Cotton gin. A big part of scouting is learning, expanding horizons, and being prepared. The skills instruction portion of a troop meeting might focus on skills scouts need to participate in an activity or skills they need for advancement. Depending on the needs of individual scouts, different skills instruction sessions can be held at the same time. The sessions should be led by well-prepared scouts serving as troop instructors, adult scout leaders, 
or outside authorities willing to share their knowledge with the troop. As much as possible, instruction should be hands-on and activity-based. Breaking out into groups provides an opportunity for patrols to plan, prepare, and get organized. Do we know that Brady's going? Yes, in case you're That's it. Breakout groups give patrols time to decide on their menu for the upcoming camping trip, make up a duties roster, and generally take care of patrol business. In addition to benefiting the patrol as a whole, this short patrol meeting is a good thing for each individual scout. The game section of the troop meeting can contribute more to making the meeting really fun than any other part of the agenda. Hence, it deserves to be properly planned and prepared so scouts can benefit most from their participation. When properly presented, all troop meeting activities, whether a scout skills challenge, team building opportunity, or a troop-wide game, can contribute towards ensuring the troop meeting is fun with positive outcomes. <laughs> As part of the closing period, a short, meaningful message delivered by the scoutmaster or another adult leader serves nicely to round things out, ending the meeting on a positive note that is relevant and thoughtful. Does everybody know what this is? A compass. Okay. Okay. What do you use a compass for? Finding your treasure. Finding, treasure. finding north. Cool. So basically finding your direction, learning your way. Just be a good reflection for him and be the compass not only for yourself, but be the compass for those around you that really need the guidance. How many people thought you could run a mile in four minutes? No Zero. No one thought it was possible. They, they knew it was possible. They knew it was possible. So for that thing to become possible, one person had to think it was possible and do it, and the others. They were only limited by what they thought was possible. A troop can adopt any kind of closing ceremony they choose. Here's a sample. One. Three, four, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. May the great scout master of all scouts be with us until we meet again. After the meeting, it's worthwhile for the youth leaders to hold a short session reflecting on what took place and double check that everything's good to go for the next meeting. The group instruction, how about that? How do you think that went? Um, I think we could have, I think the kids could have paid a little bit more attention, like to what no, we were trying to say. Not messing around as much. Yeah, I agree. I think we could have probably kept them involved a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. But we just got to keep that in mind and work on that better next time. The um, instructor was really engaging, though. That was uh, excellent. And the Zulu toss? Well, that devolved into chaos was, as normal. That was complicated. I think we should have clarified the instructions. I agree, because I think that was our main issue. So I assume we're all set for our next meeting. So we'll see you all later. And hope you have a good night. A well-functioning troop always considers how to make things even better and making sure they're prepared for what lies ahead. <laughs>